Hello. Hello, it's Robert here. Hello, Robert, it's Martin. Hello, 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 Martin. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for calling. Um, this call might have to be brief because the battery is at 20%. Oh, right, okay, that's no problem. So, we can always uh, uh, review uh, again later on. Yes, of maybe, course. So, um, of course. Um, um, the, the first thing is, I, 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 I the, the first thing is, I'm, I'm quite close to Newton Abbott Kingdom Hall, but I can't get through to them. I rang and rang and rang. Okay. Um, oh, right. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me that. I can. Um, I can't think why. Uh, it could be that the number you're ringing is the one at the Kingdom Hall, and there's um, nobody there. But I have a means of contacting um, the the, the um, coordinator there. Yes. So I, I can give him a ring. Yes. Um, now. Your, your query, as far as I can understand, is about how we arrived at 1919. Is that, is that it? Well, I think I, I, I'll tell you what I think I understand. Which, because uh, well, I couldn't get through to Newton Abbott, and I did ring and ring and ring before the Sunday service. I thought I'd get through to them, but I didn't. Um, which no, Kingdom Hall are you? Cause I'm Ilfracombe, actually. Ilfracombe, OK. Yeah. Be because yes, but obviously Newton Abbott, if that's where you you are, it would be much more logical. And I will, I will, yes, I will contact them and give them your number. Thank you. But, um, regard, am I right in saying that 1919 is your big is your big query? Y yes, because if if Jesus chose the Watchtower Society in 1919 then the yeah. Watchtower Society is really making the same sort of claim that the Mormons and the Seventh-day Adventists and the, are making, that, you know, they're the sole organisation that God has chosen. Right. Well, I, um, uh, what you're saying is, is, is I wouldn't contradict that, because we do think that uh, we, we have the truth of God's word, and we do believe that God is actually using us today, um, we our, our, our doctrinal beliefs uh, differ um, on some major points with uh, Christendom, which we feel um, became corrupted, if you like, very soon after the death um, of, shall we say, the Apostle John. In fact, there are several, well, several, there are scriptures that actually say uh, that after the death of the apostles, um, I think one, uh, say, insolent men or um, men who corrupted the congregation um, got into the truth. And, and at that time, we find that uh, certain doctrines have come into, we we'll call it the Christian congregation, uh, which were not present shall we say, at the time of Jesus and, and in the first century. Right. Uh, for example, um, uh, uh, immortality of the soul and the idea that um, you don't really die because you, you go on somewhere else it is a, a teaching of Greek um, philosophy. People, I think Aristotle and the like sort of were of that mind. And the early church didn't really... Um, coincide with, with with that particular thinking and if you think particularly of um, the example of when Lazarus was resurrected. Well that's um, really a, a, another, sorry can I just butt in, that's really yeah, another yeah, conversation yeah. for another day I yeah, don't really okay, see it as right. being no. relevant to 1919 I've been pointed no, by, not. please, please forgive me right. if, if Martin, I'm not trying to be rude but I'm down to 17% so okay, oh, eight, 18 18 18 percent so I'm, I'm trying to sort of get to the crux of the matter um Absolutely. i've been pointed to watchtowers now yeah. one of the watchtowers i think it was 15th of july 2013 i yeah. forget the page number but it said oh. that jesus did an inspection work between the years 1914 and 1919 i think if yeah. i remember it's page 11 that says that very clearly. I don't have um, material to hand you at the moment because I'm in a friend's house. Do you happen to know which, um, which month the Watchtower that was? I think... Do you have the internet there? I think it's 15th of July 2013. I think it's page 11. And if I remember, 
footnote four, footnote six on page 14, and I'm working from memory, says yeah. that we used to believe that Jesus' inspection and cleansing work was from 1918 to 1919, but we've now changed yeah. that to 1914 to 1919. Yeah. And the problem well, I that, have that is... That, that is... That is certainly, certainly correct. And of course, during the period of 1914 to 19, um, Jehovah's Witnesses go, did go through a particularly difficult time. Uh, there was the First World War, and um, several countries banned our preaching. Also, uh, we, we had the death of... I'm aware um, of all that, Martin. Russell. You, I, you I'm aware of all of, all of all of the history. I've, I've yeah. got the Proclaimers yeah. book, and I've, 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 okay. read, I've read that. Um, I mean, well, Robert, can I just ask you, because you obviously have quite a lot of knowledge about us, um, I just wondered where where did you cut all that knowledge? Well, if people challenge me, um, I'm quite happy to go down that that rabbit hole because that's how you learn. Well, um, absolutely, I, I totally agree with you. I've, I totally agree with you. I've never been a Jehovah's Witness. I was a oneness Pentecostal for about eight nine months in the late 1980s. That's oh, a, right. a group which denies the Trinity. Um, yeah. I've never been able to settle in an evangelical church. I gave up about nine yeah. years ago yeah. due to sexual scandals in the churches, and I got fed up of people. And I don't want to get sidetracked on the Trinity, no, no, but I got no. sidetracked on people telling me that Jesus is God the Father. I am a passionate tr Trinitarian. I've studied it for 30 years. Um, yeah. So I do know what the creeds say, and I know that a lot of what you get in the local evangelical church is actually not creedal Christianity, they might stick something that's fairly good on the website, but yeah, many people yeah. in leadership, uh, they just don't know what they're talking about, and I just got fed up and I left. Um, no, no, can I just clarify, because I'm not sure if I, I heard you correctly or not, did you say you are a Trinitarian, yes. or you're not a you yes, are yes, yeah. yes. No, I, I, would, I would happily discuss you with this, Martin, but it would have to be another time. I'm down to 16%, so, yeah. so if, yeah. this, okay. if this phone conks out, it's not I'm hanging up on you, please don't no, think no, I'd be no, so no. rude to you, but um, it's, it, it will conk out at some time, probably when it gets down to about 5 or 6%. Yeah, um, okay. that's, that's fair enough, I'm just trying to get a bit of a background, and um, it, it will help me to, to see which direction yes. I'm, I'm I've, coming at. I've, I've spoken yeah, to people at the carts, they pointed me yeah. to a Watchtower article from 2019, I think it was October. There, there, I think I mentioned that one to you, because it's not mm. even October yet, it is next yeah. week, but it, yeah, that one does give um, sort of a further um, insight into that. I mean, you, you know enough about us to, to know that um, we are not... Um, rigid in our dogma, if you like, and if um, a scriptural truth becomes clear that we've had something not quite right in the past, well, we will hold our hands up and we will acknowledge that we now feel we have a, um, a, a clearer understanding of it. Um, so that certainly is yes. the case to some degree yes. with 1919. Yes. Um, what really puzzled me, I, I've, I've read Watchdown articles 2013, 2014, I've got 2000 and March 2016 to read. I haven't read that yet. I've read yeah, the 2019 yeah. Watchtower. But what puzzles me is I can't see what Pacific doctrines were cleansed, were inspected and then cleansed from the Watchtower Society between 1914 and 1919. Okay, I can't think okay. of any doctrines being removed because you kept Christmas till 1926. Yeah. Continue to use okay. the pyramid until 1927. The second presence of Christ was 1874. That wasn't changed till 1930. I've actually got a book called Prophecy. Uh, oh wow! Uh, yeah. That's 19. That was published 1929. I'm on page 65. It says the second presence of Christ was 1874. I, I'm not trying to be rude by rushing, but I'm just no, worried about the no, battery. No, 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 um, no, well, obviously that all proved to be totally wrong. So uh, absolutely. I mean, I, I'll give you a little bit of my background. Can, so, can I just so close the door? Because I'm. I'm going to close the door because I can hear the television in the other room. Just a second. Right, sorry about that. I'm back. I'm back with you, Martin. That's, that's okay. 
No, I mean, I've been, I, I was not born a Jehovah's Witness. My parents were, my father was a Methodist and my mother was an Anglican. Um, I actually became a Jehovah's Witness um, very shortly after I got married. My wife wasn't a witness either. Um, we got married in 1965 and we were baptised as Jehovah's Witnesses in 1967. So I've obviously been a witness for 50 years, but I was not brought up one. Um, so I am aware um, of the fact that certain things have changed. It doesn't um, affect my faith in, in any way whatsoever, because I, there's a lovely scripture that says that the light gets brighter and brighter as we approach the perfect day. And in that context, I think we are, as it were, approaching the perfect day. So we would expect the light on Bible prophecy uh, to, to, to shine more brightly, and hence, perhaps we would get a revised or clearer understanding. There's another scripture about uh, looking into a mirror. Um, back at the time of Jesus, mirrors were metal, and so the image you got was very distorted. But of course, um, as time goes on, we... we we can see much clearer in sort of modern day mirrors. And I think Bible prophecy, or um, if not just Bible prophecy, our understanding of the Bible um, has become clearer. And obviously it's helped as events that are prophesied actually take mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier to understand uh, what actually was being got at. Uh, yes. Often it's not until after a prophecy has been fulfilled you say, yes. ah, I see what that was getting at, as it were. So uh, regards 2019, um, I don't think, it, I mean, if it, it's really a, um, the application of Malachi chapter 3, I mean, verses 1 to 4, but particularly verse 2, uh, pictures or speaks of uh, Jehovah and, and Jesus visiting um, the spiritual temple no, and it's... doing a refining work. Um, I think that took place between 1914 and 1919. Um, I, I do apologise, um, as I say, I'm worried about the battery running down and yeah, we'll yeah, have to, yeah. to finish very quickly. Um, Proverbs Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18 and 19, it's the path of the righteous which gets lighter and lighter, not, not light. Oh, yeah, 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 um, yeah, I don't think yeah. that verse has any connection to do with doctrine whatsoever. It simply contrasts people who walk in the light of Christ, um, in, in the light of biblical truth, their path gets, gets, gets clearer or more illuminated as they walk in the light of what God has revealed in the Bible. Where, of course, there's other people who um, don't follow Christ, they, they don't follow scriptures, they, they, they follow anything other but scriptures, maybe their own opinions yeah. or some preacher boy yeah, or yeah. the Pope. True. True. And yeah. um, their path in Proverbs 4.19 gets darker and darker. Um, it, what I'm really interested in is what specific doctrines were cleansed by Jesus from the Watchtower Society from 1914 to 1990. I'm looking for specific answers, and I realise we can't speak very long now. Maybe you could no. think about this and get but back I, to I, me I, some I, other time. I, yes, I, I'm not sure we're going to find uh, um, specific doctrines during that period. I think the, the clarification on the doctrines um, probably took place prior than that, uh, prior to that. I think it was a, a cleansing of, of God's people during that period, because um, there were those that had a uh, misguided idea of what was going to happen. Just as one example, some thought they were going to be taken to heaven in 1914, I expect you've, you've read this, which didn't happen, and so they were totally disillusioned by that, um, and so they ceased, really, to being Jehovah's Witnesses. So, you know, they, they, were, they, they left the truth. Others, of course, stayed, um, and, and the vast majority stayed. Um, um, I think that if you, yeah, I think I think if we look at the Watchtower articles that I've quoted, 2013, 2014, 2019 is really irrelevant. It really just talks around the subject, and I haven't really gone into 2016 yet. But the ones yeah. I've read, 2013, 2014, they are specific in that errors of false doctrine were cleansed 
by Jesus, he inspected the Watchtower Society and he cleansed yeah. it from false doctrines between the year 1914 okay. and 1919. Now, okay. it's not talking about before that period of time and it's no, not no, talking about no. after that period of time. It, it's specific. And I'm really okay. interested, what specific doctrines did Jesus cleanse yeah. from the okay. Watchtower Society between 1914 and 1919? By the way, I'm interested in this because I did a church, I did a um, theology degree and I did quite a lot of church history. It, it's right. many, many years ago. But um, for my dissertation and it, it was only a bachelor's degree it wasn't a doctorate but yeah. um i think i had to do 20 or twenty-five thousand word dissertation i chose the first two presidents of the watchtower society for my church history degree so <laughs> yeah. that's why yeah. i happen yeah. to know quite a lot about it um yeah, the, I do, I think. <laughs> the only doctrinal change that i can really see happening between 1914 and 1919 and i'm down to 11 percent yeah. is the introduction of the Millions campaign in 1918. Judge Rutherford preached a sermon, I think it was in Los Angeles in 1918, Millions Now Living yeah. Will Never Die. We'll it, never was, die. Yeah. it was put into book form in 1920, so okay, it was printed one year after 1919, but the sermon yeah. was given one year before 1919, and this was the yeah. big push. Now that to me is the only doctrinal change. It, it gave a date, 1925, um, page 88 to 90 of that book talks about Abraham, yeah. Isaac and Jacob rising from the dead and eventually they built a house for them in San Diego, California for I them to live in. That. Pardon? Yeah, yeah. So that's no, no, the... I, I'm, I, 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 do, I am aware of that and that yes. basically was a misunderstanding. Um, I mean, one of the things people say about us, we keep changing our minds. I don't think we do. Well, yes, I suppose we do change our minds when, we, when uh, things become clearer. But no, look, I've made a note of those um, yep. 1913, 1914 watchtowers. Um, there was also... Two yes, that, two, no, uh, no, so, I'm getting... Hold on, what dates again? Um, it, period, 2013 1913. watchtower. Yeah, I think yeah. it's 15th of July. Yeah. Then I think yeah. it's 2014 watchtower. It's the 15th, I think, of November. Yeah. Unless I'm getting November and July mixed up. Don't worry. <laughs> I am I, dyslexic. I, 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 can, I can look at that. I mean, I have looked at these once already, but I need to look at them again. I, 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 th um, I think it's the best just to touch base now and for us to talk some other time in, yeah, in more detail. Fine. When I've got these watchtower, um, I don't have the internet on my computer. I go to the library no, for that. But that. I, yeah. once, once I've got the scans of all of this and I've, I've got them up on the com computer, then we can talk about it. There's also yeah. March 2016, which I haven't read in detail. Well, I've, no, I've skimmed read it, that. but I haven't read yeah. it in detail. Yeah. And there's, there's also 2019. I think it's October. Yeah, it is. It is. I think oh, I'm October. Um, yeah. My understanding is those are really saying that the cleansing happened between 1914 and 1919. It's quite specific. It's not saying yeah, the cleansing no, continued for decades you're after. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I totally agree with right. you. It is saying it's between 1914 and 1919, and that is a change from the 1918 to 1919. Yeah. So yes. that is definitely correct. I totally agree with you on that. Um, yeah. But but so the real question is what specific doctrines were, were cleansed yeah. from the society, okay. um, and and we can we can touch base on this again. I'm also yeah. interested in the new covenant, but I, I'd rather leave that for yeah. another we'll discussion at another that. time. Yeah. Okay, Robert. That's fine. I've got these dates noted down. Um, I should do a bit of research on that myself, and when I've done that, I'll I'll text you. Yeah, and I can speak any evening except for Monday. I can never speak on Mondays. Okay, uh, but no, that's fine. any other evening will be fine. All you have to do is just text me, and yeah. if I've got credit on the phone, um, uh, I'll be able to say no if I can't make it. Otherwise, if you don't hear from me because I don't have credit, the answer is probably just going to be yes. Just, just call me at that time that you text okay. me. Okay, I will do. Okay, Robert, it's nice to speak to you. N nice to speak to you too, Martin. Thank you yeah. very much for your help. All the best. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Martin. Bye-bye.